10 disasters in spaceflight history. We are drawn to space as people. Space has always maintained a certain appeal for humans, whether gazing up at the stars on a clear night or exploring the uncharted regions of our world. Moreover, due to this curiosity, space travel has made some incredible achievements. Humanity has made significant progress in space exploration, from the first people to walk on the moon to contemporary astronauts. Even nevertheless, despite all these advancements, man's space journey has only sometimes been successful. With the assistance of tight spaces, supersonic vehicles, zero gravity, and highly explosive rockets, do any of these things strike you as unusually accident-prone? Space travel is a challenging endeavor that requires meticulous planning and even more cautious response when things become bad. We will take a look at the top 10 worst space travel catastrophes in this video. When NASA's Apollo 11 touched the moon on July 20th, 1969, then-President Richard Nixon of the United States had prepared a backup address in case Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin perished in space. The guys who travel to the moon to explore peacefully will remain there to rest peacefully, according to fate. Nixon, fortunately, never needed to utilize the contingency speech. Other expeditions, though, have been less fortunate. This video will explore the top 10 list of disasters in spaceflight history. Watch this video to learn more. Before we move on, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content. I like it. To get notifications for new videos, click the bell symbol. Did you already carry it out? Let us move forward. Even though space travel tragedies receive much media attention, only four have really occurred there. And only 18 people have perished, 14 astronauts and four cosmonauts. This is because space travel involves enormous labor, preparation, intelligence, and energy. In reality, during the planning stage when laborious practice is performed to execute spaceflight to perfection, most of the deadliest catastrophes occur on Earth. Number 10. Voskhod 2 Spacewalk Almost Disaster March 1965 the Soviet Union dominated the space race in the early and middle 1960s, surpassing each milestone years before the United States. Alexei Leonov performed the first spacewalk as a human in March of 1965. Leonov walked around in space for 12 minutes and 9 seconds. But when he tried to return to Voskhod 2, he discovered that he could not fit through the door because his suit had ballooned. The situation inside the spacecraft became so tense that Soviet television and radio were turned off to the general public. However, Leonov and his group's problems did not end there. While he could get inside Voskhod too, locking the door proved to be a hassle, and the crew could only seal themselves off from the deep darkness of space with some classic Soviet improvised tinkering. Voskhod 2 also made a 300-mile detour and landed in the Siberian tundra, where rescue teams could not fly a chopper team. They therefore dispatched a ski squad who constructed a log hut and a massive fire for them. Number 9. 2014. Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 completed a planned separation from its carrier White Knight 2 on October 31, 2014. The flight's twin tail booms abruptly deployed nine seconds into its flawless takeoff. The airplane shattered in flight as the rocket continued to accelerate due to drag from the booms and the intensity of the acceleration. Of the two pilots, only one survived the collision. The National Transportation and Safety Board is looking into the tragedy, NTSB. Number 8. 1957. Vanguard TV-3 The first attempt by the United States to put a satellite into orbit failed on December 6, 1957. The rocket lost thrust just two seconds after it blasted off the launch pad, fell back down, and ruptured and exploded its fuel tanks. The Vanguard was an effort by the U.S. Navy to counter the Soviet launch of Sputnik two months earlier. 
the accident's root cause was never fully identified. Number 7. X-15 Flight 191 in 1967 The North American X-15 Experimental Aircraft, a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft used by the U.S. Air Force and NASA for high-altitude research, conducted X-15 Flight 191, also known as X-15 Flight 36597, as a test flight. Michael J. Adams undocked his X-15 on November 15, 1967, 45,000 feet over the state of Nevada from the wing of its mothership. The airplane reached a high altitude of 266,000 feet despite some electrical issues. Adams' task was to carry out a prearranged wing rocking maneuver so the ship's camera could survey the horizon. Adams was midway through the maneuver when the X-15 started shaking erratically, requiring him to stop and concentrate on his descent. The aircraft began a Mach 5 spin at 230,000 feet due to rapidly increasing dynamic forces. At 65,000 feet, the aircraft was destroyed by strong forces, killing Adams. Posthumously, he received astronaut wings from the U.S. Air Force. Number 6. The Nedelin Disaster in 1960 On October 24, 1960, a Soviet R-16 rocket exploded on the launch pad at the Baikunur Cosmodrome in one of the deadliest space catastrophes. At least 72 important military and technical professionals were destroyed when the rocket unintentionally exploded. The commander of Russia's rocket program, Chief Marshal Mitrofan Ivanovich Nedelin, died on the launch pad. Meanwhile, a smoke break saved Mikhail Yangel, the creator of the R-16. Investigations afterward revealed that Nedelin had his team under pressure to time the launch to coincide with the anniversary of the Russian Revolution, which was undoubtedly a mistake. The Soviet government did not acknowledge the Nedelin tragedy until 1989 because Nikita Khrushchev, the Russian premier at the time, insisted it was kept a secret. Number 5. Apollo 1 in 1967 Originally intended to be NASA's first human Apollo mission, Apollo 1 was delayed due to a tragedy during a trial run. Senior pilot Edward Higgins White II, command pilot Roger Bruce Chafee, and command pilot Virgil Ivan Gus Grissom entered their command module on January 27, 1967, and almost immediately encountered issues. The peculiar sour smell inside Grissom's suit was noted along with many communication breakdowns and a live microphone that would not turn off. While dealing with each scenario, the countdown continued, eventually reaching T-10 minutes, or half an hour later. A minute later, one of the astronauts said, Fire! I smell fire! And then, fire in the cockpit, heard from another astronaut. Within 17 seconds of the initial fire report, all three crew members had passed away from carbon monoxide asphyxia. The three also had third-degree heat burns discovered after their deaths. The fire's origin is still unknown. Number 4. Soyuz 1 in 1967 Colonel Vladimir Komarov, traveling in Soyuz 1, a spacecraft designed to test spacecraft systems under spaceflight conditions, became the first cosmonaut on April 23, 1967. Nine minutes after launch, Soyuz gained orbit but soon encountered difficulties. A solar panel supposed to power half of the vehicle did not open during its second orbit. Komarov began kicking and slapping the side of the spaceship to knock the panel loose by the fifth orbit. Soyuz's power dropped to an extremely low level in its 13th orbit. In order to conduct a rescue operation, the command station planned to launch Soyuz 2 with a crew of three. However, the flight was halted when an electrical storm struck the launch pad. Now on its own, Soyuz 1 had to fend for itself. In its 19th orbit, Komarov attempted a risky re-entry for which he had not even received training and nevertheless managed to succeed. Soyuz 1 successfully re-entered the atmosphere, although it could not slow down. When Komarov opened his main parachute, it did not open improperly. 
After being snagged by the malfunctioning main chute when he tried the backup chute, it also failed, causing the aircraft to crash with full power. According to communications that were being watched, Komarov was cognizant and alive up to the time of impact. Number 3. Soyuz 11 in 1971 Salyut 1, the world's first space station, was visited for the first time on June 7, 1971 by the Russian spacecraft Soyuz 11. Sadly, it was also the first and only mission to bring about a death of a human in space. After a successful 22-day stay at the station, the aircraft's three-person crew, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Viktor Patsayev, and Vladislav Volkov, departed on June 30th. A crucial valve failed 30 minutes before landing as the flight entered its downward route when it departed orbit. All the crew's oxygen was released into space when the pressure within the capsule dropped. High altitude decompression struck the astronauts, who passed away in less than a minute. In that one minute, the crew experienced brain hemorrhages, subcutaneous bleeding, broken eardrums, and middle ear bleeding, according to autopsies. They could have lived if the three men had been given spacesuits. Number 2. Columbia Space Shuttle in 2003 Rick D. Husband, William McCool, Michael P. Anderson, David M. Brown, Kalpana Chala, Laurel B. Clark, and Elon Ramon were among the astronauts aboard Space Shuttle Columbia when it blasted off for its 28th mission on January 16, 2003. The crew carried about 80 scientific experiments throughout their 15 days, 22 hours, 20 minutes, and 32 second orbit of the Earth. On February 1st, Columbia started to descend, but it abruptly disintegrated 16 minutes before touching down. The seven cosmonauts on board perished, and the plane's wreckage washed ashore in eastern Texas. Along with components of the shuttle, searchers discovered human body parts such as arms, feet, torso, skull, and heart. NASA warned people not to touch debris that can contain dangerous substances. However, some Texans disregarded their advice and sought to sell debris on eBay for up to $10,000. Following an investigation, it was discovered that a piece of foam broke off during Columbia's launch and harmed the thermal protection system on its left wing. The damaged wing steadily overheated and began to fall apart during re-entry, causing the shuttle to lose control and crash. Number 1. Challenger Space Shuttle 1986 on January 28, 1986, cosmonauts Greg Jarvis, Krista McAuliffe, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Judith Resnick, Michael J. Smith, and Dick Scobie launched aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger from the Kennedy Space Center. However, barely 72 seconds after liftoff, the spacecraft exploded over the Atlantic Ocean, killing the entire crew in the deadliest space accident. The explosion was brought on by a mechanical gasket that failed after liftoff. Pilot Michael J. Smith's uh-oh about a half second before the explosion was the last word from the crew. According to a report on the tragedy, the reason for the death of the astronauts aboard could not be definitively determined serious harm. It was stated that the forces to which the crew was subjected during orbiter disintegration were probably insufficient to inflict death or serious harm. A commission established following the catastrophes concluded that NASA had broken its safety regulations, with its organizational culture and decision-making procedures being the primary culprits. One of the riskiest activities one may engage in is space travel. In the history of spaceflight, there have been many catastrophes. From engine failures to pandemonium and fear, these tragic occurrences have led to some extraordinarily ambitious projects failing, costing millions of dollars and lives. It has been argued that tragedy is a natural part of life. Some people thrive amid catastrophe, while others find it challenging to survive adversity unharmed. Regardless of how you respond to disasters, it's crucial to draw lessons from them to prevent future occurrences. The video for today has come to an end. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. 
Remember to click the bell symbol to receive notifications when new videos are posted. I will see you in the upcoming video. Bye for now.